your internet keeps fluctuating or you witness poor bandwidth while working, it could be a frustrating experience. For starters, you can try re-enabling the Wi-Fi and see if it resolves the Wi-Fi. But if not, then try these workarounds. Number one, enable Wi-Fi via shortcut. This is helpful when you have turned off your Wi-Fi by mistake by pressing any wrong key. Depending on the laptop model you're using, the specific key to enable Wi-Fi may vary. So look for the small wireless icon on the laptop and press it, either using the function key or without it. Number two, turn Wi-Fi off and on again. For this, in your taskbar, find the internet icon and right click on the icon. Click on open network and sharing center and then change adapter settings. Right click on the Wi-Fi and click on disable. Now again, right click on the Wi-Fi after a few seconds and enable your Wi-Fi again. Number three is to restart your system. The simplest method to resolve the Wi-Fi network not showing up on Windows 10 is to restart your computer. This helps if some software puts too much load on the disk and affects other functions of your computer or laptop like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi networks. Number four, update PC drivers. The best way to update the drivers in your PC is to download and install advanced driver updater. Let the tool scan the system and find outdated or corrupted drivers. As soon as you ask it to update the drivers, it will automatically update them. Next is to reset modem or router. For Wi-Fi not showing up on the laptop, there might be a problem with the router's end and not your PC or laptop. So first, try to turn the switch off and then turn it on. Wait for a few seconds and check again. If your computer or laptop is not showing Wi-Fi, then consider resetting the router or modem. Next, turn on WLAN Auto Config Services. Press Windows plus R simultaneously to invoke Run. Type services.msc in the Run box and click OK. And find WLAN Auto Config in the new window. Right click on it. Click on Properties. And in the new dialog box, find Startup Type and select Automatic Click on the Apply button, followed by OK and then reboot the system. So guys, we are sure that this must have solved your problem. For more such videos, just subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends around.